chemistry we're on to day 75 this is on weak basis it's very these are very much done the way uh, the weak acids that you just finished all right the first problem is a pre-assignment problem and uh, it comes from the video so go ahead and do that one all right so let's go on and answer some of these questions what is a kb value kb value is to a base what a ka value is to an acid it tells you how intrinsically strong that base is in other words how many hydroxides oh minuses it will produce if you take equal amounts so one that has a higher kb value will produce more oh minus hydroxides than one that has a lower kb value and we use it the same way in uh, the rice tables that, uh, as we did the Ka values. Okay, what are the conjugate acids of the following? So, uh, what are the conjugate acids of the following bases? So, what you're going to do is an, a base is going to add a proton. So, the conjugate acid for NH3, just draw it right below here, is NH4. So, it has an extra hy hydrogen, but it's not the hydrogen with a proton and an electron, it's only the proton. So therefore, it's NH4+. Plus. It's a, it becomes a cation. This one you saw in the last lesson, so go ahead and do it again. All right, and C5H5N, usually the way that's written is it's going to add a proton. So it's going to be you just add an H onto the end of that and it is a positive charge. All right, and that's called pyridine. By the way, this base is called pyridine. Okay, now um, it says write the long form for the following bases in water and the long form generic. Okay, so NH3, we're gonna see how A and B differ. It's, it's not an important difference, but it is the way it's written. So NH3 is a base. It's gonna attract a proton from a water molecule. And that's going to turn the ammonia into an ammonium ion we saw up here and produce a hydroxide that's the definition of a base it creates hydroxides so a weak base doesn't bring a hydroxide along with it you don't see an OH on this molecule right here but if it can pull a proton away from a water molecule the water molecule turns into an OH minus this is simply a water molecule minus one proton all right, now the generic is this. Since this is electrically neutral, you generally use the generic form of B for base. And then the generic form of the conjugate acid of that base is BH plus, like that. You just added a proton to the base. And it's still, you have the OH minus here. All right, now this is uh, the formate ion. That's a base, it's gonna attract a proton because it's negatively charged. And when it does that, it's gonna form formic acid. And again, it does break a water molecule and produce a hydroxide there, okay? Now, while it's not an important distinction, you should do it properly since this is an, an, uh, an anion, a negatively charged ion, you use the A minus notation here and then over here it's going to be HA what we used for generic acid the H jumps onto there and then again you also have the hydroxide okay so that's how you do that I'll leave the last two for you to do all right let's go on to the next page and now we're ready to start doing some rice tables, okay? And this is done just like the acids. So 2.6 molar ammonia is placed in water. The KB is that. So we go ahead and write the reaction. All right, and we're starting with this 2.6 right there. All of the coefficients are one in, in almost all acid-base reactions, so it's going to be minus X. You don't use the water. It's 
start with zero and zero here. Rice table, now we're going to use a KB. Okay, we're going to come over here now and start substituting our algebraic expressions and our KB value. We're going to use the usual simplifying assumption that gets rid of this, assuming this is much smaller than 2.6, then this is simply going to become 2.6 effectively. Come down here. Okay, so we multiply both sides by 2.6. They cancel on this side. Come down here and we get these two multiplied together. Take the square root of both sides, and that's going to give us x equals 0 0.0068. All right, what is the hydroxide of the uh, concentration of the solution to equilibrium? So hydroxide concentration is whatever's on the equilibrium line underneath hydroxide. It's X, so this is it right here. All right, what is the pOH? So it's the negative log of that number. And it's 2.2. All right, what is the pH? And there's the pOH. A pH very high number, that means it's a basic solution, not an acidic solution. All right, and what is the hydronium ion concentration? We can do it one of two ways. All right, so that's one way to do it because we know uh, the value of OH, it's right there, but we can do it a different way, and it's simply this. Okay, so we'll do it in the alternate way. Okay, so 10 carat negative 11.8, and that gives us 1.58 times 10 to the negative 12. Very small hydronium ion concentration, okay? So if if you didn't remember that you could do that two ways, go back to the uh, PHPOH lesson, uh, day 73, and kind of review how you can get from between PHPOH, o, um, PHPOH OH concentration and, hydrox and hydronium ion concentration. Okay, so there you go, and it is a molar. Okay, and if we want to justify that this is less than 5% of our original concentration, 2.6, I'll tell you that it is, okay? So that's the end of that problem. Let's go on. All right, so now we're going to do a common ion. 2.6 molar of NH3 is placed in water. A concentration of ammonium chloride is also in the solution. And let's see, it doesn't look like I told you how much it is. So we're going to say that this is 1.4 molar of ammonium chloride right there, okay? <clears throat> all right, so we're going to go ahead. Now this time I'm going to use the generic notation, all right? So we have the NH3, that's neutral, so we're going to call that B. Then we have H2O. And then we have BH plus. That's this right here. That's the NH4Cl. Okay? Because what's going to happen is the Cl is going to break off. It's going to dissolve. So let's go ahead and write that reaction up here. 
okay, plus the L minus. So this becomes a spectator, we don't care about that. It's the conjugate base of hydro hydrochloric acid, it's never going to take back a proton, so that just goes off by itself. So this is going to be our, um, it's going to be our conjugate acid here. So that's this right here. And then you're going to have a hydroxide. You always have a hydroxide in a base reaction. Okay, so be sure you understand this with the generic. Okay, all right, go ahead and load this up here. So it's 2.6. Don't do the water. And then we said the initial concentration is 1.4 for this. And hydroxide is nothing. Minus X plus X plus X. All the coefficients up here are ones. Law of mass action, use the KB. Now what if they had given you a KA for this? That's a possibility. Okay, for, for the conjugate base, that would be NH4, just the NH4Cl, just this part, just uh, this part right here. Then you would have had to convert to a KB to do this because this is a base reaction. We're starting with a base and we're turning it into the conjugate acid, so you'd need to get the KB value. But they, we were given that, so we'll go ahead and do that. Make all our substitutions. Okay. And now, uh, simplifying assumption says if we're adding or subtracting an X from a number, you can eliminate it because X is going to be very small, so we'll eliminate it there and there. So now what we have here, we didn't eliminate the 1.4, just the X. So it's 1.4 times X up there. And we'll just call that 1.4 X. 2.6, okay, so now it's just a math problem. So we multiply both sides top by 2.6. On this side it cancels. And now we divide both sides by 1.4, not the X, just the 1.4. This cancels with this, so now all you have left is that X there. So X is going to equal all of this, so we'll go ahead and do, run that. And that's going to give us 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative fifth for X, right there. All right, what is the hydroxide concentration? So again, we look over here at hydroxide and in the equilibrium line, we just have X. So it's going to be that. You're starting to notice some trends, some patterns of how these are working. They all work pretty much the same. POH. Okay, that gives us this. Okay. And I'm off screen a little. Let me get back on screen. So pOH plus pH plus pOH is 14. So pH plus 4.48 or pOH is 14. And that would give you the, whoops, that should be a 52. That would be a 52. So the pH, so that's well into the basic range. It's above 7 on the pH scale. And that's into the base range. Okay, hydronium ion concentration. Divide both sides by H3O plus, and you get this. Okay, to get the H3O plus concentration, we divide both sides by this, the hydroxide. And the hydroxide ion concentration was this up here. All right, so what we have here is do it 10 carat negative 14 divided by 3.3 times 10 carat negative 5 and that gives us and that's molar okay of course the easier way to have done it would have simply been to take 10 raised to the negative pH, which is this number right here, ten carat negative nine point five two, right there. You can see that on the calculator, and it gives us the same thing: 
3 times 10 to the negative 10th. You don't have to do it both ways, and really the second way was an easier way to do it, okay? Give you the same answer. Okay. Okay, now explain the difference between the pH in problems 4 and 5. All right, so the pH with the common ion, this is the common ion problem. We already have some of this conjugate acid here. And so what it's going to be is a more acidic solution. Why? Because you made this room crowded over here. So the reaction is going to want to push backwards. That means it's going to be have more of a tendency to want to dissociate this proton uh, to dissociate this proton and go back to being a base. That's going to make it an acid reaction if it wants to do this more. When you had none of this here, this is the BH+, plus, then the reaction would proceed from left to right and go from being a base to being a conjugate acid. And it would produce more hydroxide ions. That's more basic. More basic means less acidic, so that would be on 11.8 that's higher on the pH scale that's more of a basic reaction less of an acidic reaction but here you already have the room crowded on the right side um, excuse me less basic and more acidic because this is going to act as an acid reaction and that's going to dissociate the proton all right so it doesn't want to run when you have a common ion the reaction doesn't want to run from left to right and that means in the case of a base reaction, it's going to be less basic. So you get a lower pH, meaning it's more acidic than on the previous example. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this one up right here.